Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the DCO SourceCast. We're back. We had a week off because I had prior engagements that I couldn't break because I really wanted to go see Ant-Man for free. Yeah, honestly, I, I think I would have probably paid money for it now if I were going to see it again. But we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a little bit or later on. So let me introduce this week's uh, cast, really. We have, of course, Sewer Patriot. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? And we have the fact that Camel has not been following me on twi on Twitch hurts my feelings, Camel. Jeez, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to mute my mic, and I ended up. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I know the call. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, we have Vagrant Gaming, aka Trick Tracked. Hey. And we have none other than Brittany. Hi. All right. So, uh, as the title up there says, if you guys haven't looked, I have giveaways this week because I don't have to pay my car payment this week. So, yay! But I, I'm cheap. So I had to. I got two ten dollar gift cards for PlayStation Network because PC still doesn't have the new Daybreak uh, cash yet. We're still. I'm still waiting for those cards. So PlayStation players, which apparently is nothing but in my chat. Uh, so I got two $10 gift cards we'll be giving away at the end of the show. And during the giveaway, we'll be talking about Ant-Man. All spoilery, so if you haven't seen it, well, tough, because you're going to be spoiled. I can't, I, I'm not going to stop that because you didn't go see such an awesome film. So, it has been two weeks. Soups, how you been doing? Oh, uh, not too bad, not too bad. I had a good week. My son turned 18 the other day. Congratulations? Yep, so he's moving out tomorrow. Yes! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's, it's what you gotta do? Harsh. Are you gonna give him a parting gift? Tough ass sick love. Ass no, this kid's already spending money on himself. Like, oh. you know, I mean, I mean in, in his defense, though, I mean, it's the first time since, you know, I mean, he's, you know, he's had a job for a while since, like, uh, well, August last year when we went to live is when he first started. Um, but, uh, you know, this is the first time he's actually gone and, you know, like spent, you know, mad cash on himself. Uh, cause he told me, he's like, yeah, I want, you know, I want to uh, go and do a couple of things and I, cause he doesn't have his license yet, but that's coming next. Um, and I was like, all right, what? He's like, well, I want to go to Best Buy, you know, and everything like that. And I'm like, all right, what are you going to get there? He's like, well, I want to get a PS4. And I was like, I was like, all right, cool. I was like, all right, cool, but I mean, we're gonna play it on because the TV in his room it wasn't, you know, it was an HD TV. So I'm gonna buy a TV too. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Kid bought himself a 72 inch, not 72 inch, sorry, 32 inch uh, um, Samsung TV and a PS4 in one day. Wow! Happy birthday to him. Jesus. Yeah, no kidding. I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, kid. He deserved it. He deserved it. He's, been, he's been working pretty. He's been working pretty hard at that job. So, well, congratulations to him and welcome to adulthood. And has he made any aspirations to go to college yet? Um, actually, he's looking into uh, attending the police academy. Oh, Entering snap. law enforcement. Yeah. Well, after some of the stuff that I've been seeing today, I'm I'm a little scared for him. Yeah, I'm I'm a little, I'm a little worried for him too. Yeah, the, the, I just I, I watched I watched the nightly show with Larry Wilmore, the Daily Show, and at midnight. So that's my three shows I watched in the morning, and I just heard about the stuff in Texas this morning on Larry Wilmore, and I'm like, okay, this is this is wrong, and so now uh, I'm well. I hope the best for your son at the police academy. Uh, if he's anything like his old man, I'm sure he's going to be straight laced and he's going to be doing a good job. Yeah. Uh, Vagrant, what have you been doing? Well, I've been just playing DC, playing a little ESO, playing some Splatoon, Mario Kart 8. Just been gaming a lot. Just been gaming. And that is the perfect answer. Oh, yeah. I was super excited for the Promethean Lockbox update. <laughs> you are not the only one, trust me. Oh, yeah. Alright, so Brittany, how have you been doing, madam? 
good, busy, working, DC, you know, the usual. She says working, but I see her on the game at like 9 o'clock in the morning. (laughs) All the time. Because... (laughs) <laughs> I work from home, so I can be. <laughs> but no, I was actually really busy this week, so I had a lot of stuff that I had to do. But uh, so I'm glad the week is over. Cool. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, Brittany was also, of course, on the test a little earlier, and so we will be talking about game update for uh, game update fifty one on the test server, and we're going to be talking about titles that she got to take a look at as well, and I'm going to hop on test and take a look at it myself. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So, last rage, week... Rage, rage. <laughs> really fa- rage. And, and we're going to talk about Rage, because Rage is in those notes as well, and I'm a little scared. But at the same time, I'm excited to test it out. So, uh, so we didn't have a show last week. I know you guys missed us. We saw the tweets, or at least I did, and it's so thankful. I'm so thankful thankful for you guys to miss us uh and so before we move on to our other stuff we do have an email we had an email last week we didn't have a show last week so we're gonna do it tonight and let me get that prepped up right now because i am going to hopefully not show his email address and uh you know what i think it's gonna show it i have a feeling it's going to yep most likely yeah because i'm using whiteboard and apparently when you use whiteboard it just destroys everything. So I'm just going to draw here, make this big old sploosh mark. Not sure if it's going to cover up anything. <laughs> I'm guessing where everything is. I don't even care. This is going to be right there. That should really, that should do it. Yes, it does do it. Thank God. <laughs> so these are questions for all of us. And Mebs couldn't be on the show, but he did type his response that myself and Sir Patriot are going to give because Sir Patriot is going to do the second part because, well, Sir Patriot gets more of it than I do. So, <laughs> so first question, usual suspect style. I like that. This is coming from Jen Whiskey, by the way, who has been a top-notch viewer uh, and a really nice fan. So uh, thank you, Jen, for bringing these questions to us. We really do appreciate it because it gives us something to talk about. So first question is for... Vagrant. So, being on the villain side on PC all these years, what kind of content do you believe could be added to make the villain side more appealing that would not change the game's rating? Do you think missions like Robin Banks and jewelry stores could help? You see, the problem with me give, saying something that I would want to make villain side feel more villainous is that if, if if I suggest a feature, it, there has to be a feature that would be s- symmetrical to the hero side. So no, no, if screw, there's missions, no, screw that logic. Screw that logic and tell us what you want for villains. Okay. <laughs> if there was things that I that I could want as a villain, it would be more. If it if it was going to be something remedial, it'd be more missions featuring big villains rather than us doing things for future Lex every now and then and you know something like that i want to see more more involvement with the whole dc universe you know where's uh where's black where's um black manis where's where's i I can't like think too much right now but there's there needs to be more villains in villain side you know every now there's like maybe five that i can think of that is relevant in content there's just no, there's not a huge amount of villains that is all like let's go bust some shit. Yeah. And then of course they they need to make villain side way more way more appealing. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz villain side is so dead. It really is. But don't worry, cross faction PvE, I hope. Okay, it might not stimulate the villain st- cycle, but y- you know, whatever helps. PC what we need is crossplay. Crossplay, that's it. On yes. on US PC. That's the only way I'm going to get instances to pop. <laughs> All right. Uh, next is for Super Patriot. Uh, it being a PVP tank guy, could you see the possibility of a side area where the PVP RPS system could be brought back? and the use of objectives to unlock an Iconic to fight for both sides to spice up the matches. Keep AMs, keep weapon mastery, and yes, even immunities, but allow the RPS system to reassert itself. Don't rant, 
but <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all you. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, uh, there were so many other... I mean, RPS system just needs to come back in general yeah, at completely for the game to begin with. I mean, simply because I mean it was a core mechanic of the PvP at launch that they removed, and I, honestly, I feel that's why we're at where we're at with PvP the way it is right now. It would make object, it would make objective and team deathmatch maps, uh, you know, a lot more fun to play than they are right now. Um, as far as you know, spawn iconics out. I'm not a huge fan of extra ads in PvP matches. I mean, that's why you know I got my safe house feats done, and then I was I was done with safe houses. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm not a huge fan of that. But I know there are some people out there. I know like you know Spittle. He's he's a huge fan of objective based maps. Um, the moon. Yeah, and you know, and I love the moon. I, I actually like the moon with the rock, you know that, and it was fun running running the rock every once in a while. But you know, I'm I'm more of a team deathmatch kind of guy, and uh, I miss the um, rock. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of people um, miss the rock. But I mean, as far as as far as a separate thing, no, I think I I feel the RPS system needs to come back into the game. For all of PvP and all its aspects, simply because it was a better system, it was a it was it, it was it was a better way to PvP back then. I mean, it made the roles all roles were viable and required in competitive matches, and uh, it was just it was just a, it was just a better system. It was it was a great mechanic. I mean, they actually had it to where it was like near perfect. Uh, before they dropped season three, and then they just completely threw it out, threw it out, and I think it was a huge mistake doing that. So yeah, my opinion is they need to bring it back for the whole game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So Brittany, uh, I have to know. Uh, Jen has to know. I, I I know the process. I'm. Whew, if only. Uh, I have to know. <laughs> What's your strategy slash system for collecting feats? Do you push through with your main and use alts to pick up what you missed? Or do you research and break down every mission and instance before going in? She does no research. She just goes out there blindly. That's that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the feats, though. Like, some of them are the progressive feats where you have to collect them. Or you have to do an instance, you know, so many amount of times or whatever. But kind of just like you said though you just kind of go in there look at the feats see what you need and then try to get them usually on your first try but if they're difficult then obviously we have to work at them but right now i'm more talking about like episode feats because the general or feats that are i don't know what you want to call it, like vanilla feats i mean i don't know what to call them <laughs> but non-episode feats i have those already and i've had them for quite some time but when I was going for those, it was more, I did research them and I tried to maximize my time. Mm -hmm. So for an example, like if I needed duo feats and treasure chest feats, I would do like, let's say the, oh my God, battle for earth duos. Because oh, not bottle, only the, bo the bottle duos. Yeah. Because not only do you get the feats for doing battle for earth duos, but you also get the feats for the overall duo feat. Plus there's a treasure box in each one of those. And so you can knock out the treasure box feat as well. So yeah, I would just that those would be, when I was going for it. Yeah. That would be something that I would, would have done was to maximize my time and try not to like overlap feats basically. Okay. So yeah. Uh, kind of like, like when you were farming for your, like if you wanted to get your renown and your challenges done. You know, you did knock both those out by doing your challenges, because... Yep. Get renowned for doing challenges. Those are those feats also. That's right. <laughs> All right, so this one's for Meps, who can't be on the call, but we do have to type out answers. So uh, here's the question. You have to love your job to go through what you do on the forums and social media. What do you do to quote-unquote reboot and keep the negativity at bay? A massage and a two-hour therapy session every day? So, this right here is the words of MEPS. <laughs> uh, it sometimes looks bad, what with all the human awfulness on the internet, but it's really not. 
I work in games. I make games for a living. I'm paid to talk to players about games. It's actually pretty damn incredible and usually a ton of fun. Beyond that, the team here is an incredible group of people that an honor to work with, and, I, and I'd gladly walk through fire for them. It gets you through. Some days, though, I mean, death threats suck. So when, so when rebooting is needed, it's remembering what I just said, and it's playing games with brandy in hand, perspective, and nothing, uh, nothing lasts forever. No live stream, no game, no person, no planet. So enjoy it while you can. And nothing brings out, brings that out like stepping back into the player's shoes, remembering the passion that drives it all, and having fun. In soups. All that and that, and whenever you know it gets too much for him and all, he just yells at me. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, he yells at unprofessional. He un he yells unprofessional <laughs> things at players who are NDA, and we can't repeat them. I mean, they can't repeat yeah. them. Yeah, they can't repeat them. So <laughs> I mean, he's gotten mean with me before, and I'm like, dude, I'm like, hey, <laughs> he has those buttons, and I don't press those buttons. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm looking at Skype. I see you're here. I mean, I could have come on and just answered the question. I actually wasn't invited. I was just asked the question. Oh, no, 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 Don't believe him. Dude, oh, I can scroll up. I'm going to scroll up. All right. I, no, all right. I can scroll up right here. I even at, I told him. I told him that he had questions. He had a question. He could come on. Where is it? Uh, yes, here it is. Uh, I had a fan question come in that is all for us. Would you like to answer it? That was technically the invite to get in. I might have not. And then. And then I answered it in text. That's not an invite to the show. <laughs> Maps, you're, you always know you're invited on. <laughs> Apparently. I, sh I shouldn't. Sure I, I should never have to invite you. Spittle, I'll invite. But you, you it's, a, it's an open door, buddy. Open door. And sometimes lock, but Spittle has to ask. <laughs> Thanks, Trex. <Jax. laughs> but anything else you'd like to add on to that? To relax your nope. day? I, I was hoping Soups would actually read the quote instead of just paraphrasing it. <laughs> Me too. Oh. oh. It's cool. It's whatever. It's fine. See, this is why you get yelled at, Soups. This, it's this shit right here. Yeah, yeah, that, this is why I get yelled at. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> I did it. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well just... Uh, I don't know if everybody saw it, and I know you guys haven't talked about it yet, but... Um, the new lockboxes are out, and they have a temporary boost of drop rate. Um, mm -hmm. Some people were kind of talking about maybe they didn't think the increased drop rate was in effect. We've now quadruple confirmed that it is in effect for everybody. Um, and also with our, our midday hotfix here today, we increased the rate again. Um, <laughs> Lars and I were crunching numbers just on the first 15 minutes, what your chances are, and it's, it's almost... Not quite, but almost uh, three times your chances in your in your first fifteen minutes to get a a lockbox versus what it was uh, last week. So this, hopefully this you guys I'm, see a lot of lockboxes this weekend. This is what I mean by this game doesn't doesn't like my main because I just got done doing the uh, Legends PVE Ace Chemicals in about twenty minutes and I did not get a lockbox. <laughs> it's, it's not a guaranteed drop. It's, yeah. it's just more yeah. frequent than it was before. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, also, totally um, that. yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, Soups, you, it, it, they won't be any, any lockboxes dropping for you, actually. Yeah, I know, I wanted to play on my we old phone with lockboxes. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long is this extra drop rate going to last? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, a week or so-ish. Uh, I don't think we've necessarily set an end date, but this is a this is a pretty limited time thing. Okay. Then it'll be back to the regular drop rate, but still with all the new awesome shinies inside. <laughs> so uh, you had you you were going on. You had something else to say besides that? No, I think that was it. Okay. I mean, you guys didn't do a show last week, so there's like a ton of news. For yeah. You guys to get to. Yeah, it's I got. Like, I better I just better let you do it because. Stuff's going on, you know. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I will say though, 
last week I did a recap article, which you could probably pull up and just read to go through the news. Yep, that um, I have it open. In which, in which I said uh, there would be a live stream and more news this week. Well, the live stream got punted to next week, uh, just because. Uh, and and someone on the forums, I think it was Jaffin, was was saying, "Hey, where's the announcement yesterday?" And it's like, "Just wait for it." And the announcement, of course, was today's announcement of titles, which you guys should all talk about because it's awesome. Um, but there is a very good chance of yet one more announcement coming next week. Ooh. So speculate on that. Ooh. And I'll let you go. Just, just, just to ask: Does this have anything to do with uh, the question I asked you earlier in the uh, CRT chat? Uh, I can't remember what you asked me earlier. It was, it was the question so. that you asked. To make sure that everybody asked you at least once daily. Oh, uh, no, nope, not related at all. But that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I should go get on that again. Every day, every day. All right, so uh, finally my question. Uh, with the Nexus, meaning the Nexus of reality, uh, DCO has a portal to infinite possibilities. Do you think it's possible that we could witness milestones in the DC universe in person, such as the fight between Doomsday and Superman, the origin of the Joker, or World War III? Uh, I would love to. Uh, the, the fact that I've constantly seen... On the forums, like, oh my god, we're going back into Nexus. This is get, this is stupid. What's up with this? Like, no, it's not stupid. It's logical because we're get, we're traveling through time. How are we going to travel through time through the Nexus of Reality? Do we, are we just going to introduce a new plot a new plot device when we already have one that's easily accessible? So there has been some hate with the with the bombshell operation. The fact that it's in it starts in Nexus. And it's like, come on, guys, that's where else are we gonna start it? A, a portal opens up in Central City. Come on. I think I think it's just mostly because people are just saying, "Oh, well, this is just revisited areas." No, the whole raid has a lot of new new art. Come on, guys. Yeah. So, uh, but with the Nexus of Reality, it's mm -hmm. uh, honestly this was a great plot device for. J just to open up stuff and mm -hmm. something like a doomsday versus superman fight that we can witness and have experience with maps write the stuff down uh it's it, it opens up the possibilities uh i would like to see that uh the origin of the joker i'm not sure what background the joker has in dco which like storyline it goes with like is it going to introduce like the red hood storyline or i don't know it, it, that that would be something interesting to see SJ try and write uh, and create. So, with the Nexus opened up, I can't wait to see what happens, and I'm okay with reusing it. We're only in there for like maybe a boss fight, and then we move on to prettier atmospheres. So, there you go, Jin. I hope all your answers are welcomed, and I hope you enjoyed them. And thank you so much for sending them. So if any of you guys have any questions or suggestions you guys want at us to answer or talk about, please email us at dcuosourcecast at gmail.com and we'll read them on the show as you see. So thank you so much, Jen. So now we continue on with what we missed last week. And once again, I do have to thank uh, Meps for, complete, for making this you, what you missed, we can review because I'm like, oh, this is so thankful. I can use this on the show, <laughs> even though some of it's expired. Like the special event weekend. Did anyone get uh, cool the base builders weekend last week? Um, I did not uh, get a chance to partake, but I mean, I'm like, you know, kind of capped on uh, 200, you know, items in pretty much all of my layers. Ah! So ah! I really couldn't do anything with the new items from the marketplace <laughs> that they were selling. <laughs> Damn. Nice. <laughs> we're going to fix that problem. We are going to fix that problem. We will definitely delete all of your base items. <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> A fresh new coat of paint. <laughs> uh, last week, Game of Date 50 did come out along with the Tier 4 duos and the updates to Nature, Light, and Electricity. 
Those updates are arguable on the forums, but since I don't play those character... I, correction, I don't play those in DPS roles, so I don't really know. I did testing to help Pinrin out on the test scene to, to test out some powers, so uh, it was reported. That's all I can do. Uh, the Tier 4 duos, though, I think it was the Star Labs. I think it was the Star Labs Superman one that was I felt was long, but at the same time, Alf was vagrant and he was carrying me. So I didn't do anything except for watch, and it was fun. It, it was really fun. Oh, I was oh. also of CR rating. Of CR like, what, yes. 70, 76 or something like that, 79? Uh, let me check for you with my nifty graph. Uh, that was, yes, 70 to 90. Yes, that was 70. <laughs> I created a thing, so, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and Black Adam for Legends. Has anyone got to try out Black Adam yet? I have not yet, no. Brittany? No. He's amazing. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> then I, I, it could just be because I like to play as Black Adam, because he's a cool character. He is a cool character. He is. And then, of course, they had the stat flattening adjustments. Uh, for tiers 1 through 5, they made the changes to the NPCs, not the, not the players, but to the NPCs. And I, I, I'm trying to actually remember. Yes, I ran, I was on my quantum character. I ran Trigon's Prison, which Trigon's Prison is already an easy instance. It is easy. But seeing, like, three DPS and a controller, which I was a controller, seeing us go into Trigon's prison at level, all of us, like, right there in mid-90, going through it, and we didn't, like, face palm everything. We just, we didn't blow through everything. We face still, palm? Eh, face roll. That's face? where I was looking. I was looking there for face roll. Go. We didn't face roll everything, but we still had a tough time, and it was super fun. But we did complete it in, like, ten minutes, so... But still, it was nice. So, uh, Trigon's Prison, at least, was very good for at-level players. Uh, everything else, though, I have to try out. I'm still leveling alts. Uh, it was available last week. It released uh, last week on PC Test. Episode 15, The Bombshells Paradox and Corrupted Xamarin, which we will be discussing the PC Test stuff later in the show, because we also have Game Update 51 hit test server as well, bringing in some neat stuff. Uh, and also, Meps, kudos to the GIF for the Bombshells Paradise for the marketing for that. That was pretty neat. I'm kudosing you, because I don't know anyone in marketing, mm. so. Yeah, I also want to echo the uh, a lot of people and all that that uh reacted to uh the bombshells and everything like that and uh definitely want to see harley quinn's style yes introduced yes no britney was like all about that <laughs> she's all about the bombshells all about them i do their she's styles are so cool i want the harley style i want every single piece of her style love it i really want power girl's waist the, that waistband that she has for the S, that is like, I, 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 that's probably the one thing I like about her outfit. Just that S right there on the belt. But the bombshell variants uh, will be coming out for on D, with DC Comics. Will be coming out in August next month. And I already have a few of them uh, reserved at my comic book store because I like them so much. Uh, also announced and released... Uh, actually, it was released this week, but announced new Prometheum lockboxes and cross-faction styles along in the Prometheum lockboxes. So let's talk about the Prometheum lockboxes since we're right here and it's all pretty. So with the Prometheum lockboxes, you will be you will get a guaranteed mark of victory, and you will get a hundred marks of uh, merit. The marks of merit you'll get a hundred of them. To turn in for the new uh, tokens of merit feat, which is now up to thirty k, right? Yes. Has it will it... be when it's released. Oh, that's right. It was released, then taken away. It hasn't come back yet. Yep. No, it has not, not come back. back yet. Did it? No, I thought it was back. It's back. <laughs> it's back. There is all confusion here. It came back with the lock boxes with the lock lockbox update. Okay. All right, well, if you are at 25K, you'll see it. 
If not, it's there. Trust us. Well, somebody <laughs> needs to take a trip to the Watchtower. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is in these lockboxes? So, we the players on the forums have just really wanted an update to lockboxes, and I'm really happy that it's here now. So, with this revamp of the lockboxes, there's now two style options. All right, you'll get a st- you'll get two styles to choose from. Players will see two styles from the set of th- of a list of over 800 styles. Now, sadly, these 800 styles do include styles you get from the cash vendors, which I think if it's on a cash vendor, it needs to not be in there. I understand padding to get to make those rare styles more rare, but I think if we take away the cash styles from the cash vendor, the cash kiosk. I think we'll be. I think we'll be fine. But that's just me. Uh, also within these, these are these are selection of styles from across the game to include low level drops and also the high level iconic suits. I know I got some PvP styles. I was really happy about. I, yeah, I'm not too. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the PvP styles being in these lock boxes. Go on. I. I mean. I don't know. I mean, it's just, <laughs> I, I just, you know, I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, maybe if it was only the opposite factions, that you, if you're only guaranteed to get the opposite factions styles, then maybe I'd be a little bit more for it. But if like you're on a hero and all of a sudden you get the Gotham Knight chest style uh, from a lockbox, you know, I mean, what's then? Why bother queuing up for PvP? Well, it's the same with the tiers for PV for PVE, but that but that really focuses more on the players who are leveling up. They get PVE lockbox. Hey, I got a tier one flash chest. Why do I need to get this piece of gear now? Well, you really need because you need it for the stats. But I I, under, I definitely understand where you're coming from. I do. Uh, but this is where we get the unite the styles hashtag that Spittle came out with. So, this is the first implementation of cross-faction styles. Does that mean we're going to get another avenue for cross-faction styles? Maybe that's really up to the devs, but at least this is how we at least get our our, our toes wet in the pool. Uh, so, the styles will be attainable by everyone regardless of faction. Heroes may find hero and villain styles, and villains may find hero and villain styles. So, all the styles in the game... Not all of them, but they're going to be in there. Uh, I already saw some players walking around in some villain tier uh, tier styles. I think it's the Joker back with the uh, like the spider arms or whatever. I was like, ah, that's pretty cool. I just want the Black Manta style. That's all I want. I just want Black Manta. So, uh, also in the Promethean lockboxes are marketplace consumable items. The Proto Broker Bot, the Bank Bot, the Mail Bot, the Repair Bots, and a Vault Ticket. And what's even better, the Marketplace items are account bound. Yes. Oh, and the styles, they're account bound as well. Not tradable, but account bound. So, I'm sorry for your friends, but you get to have stuff that you might already have collected. Congratulations. Uh, you also. But you, can give, but you can give them to your alts. Yes. Through the chip bank. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, through the, yeah. Uh, you also get base items. Uh, the base items will remain tradable. And then the new, the new Compound Omegas. Brittany, I'm going to let you take care of this because I know you like them so much. Well, because they're awesome. <laughs> well, why are they, they awesome? Buff- because they buff all your stats by 5%. And not only you, but your group. So if you're in an alert group or a raid group, it'll buff all of your stats by 5%, as well as giving you all power and um, health pack. So, oh, and they also don't overwrite your current buffs. So if you're using like a flex or a nitro soda, it'll stack on top of that. And the only way it won't stack is if like somebody else pops another omega soda. It does; Those two won't stack on top of each other. So, and but they, it does. Go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, it just it stacks on any other type of buff soda, though. Uh, and it does pres- uh, persist through death, and it lasts 30 minutes. Yep. They're freaking awesome. 
Now, does the 5%, I, I think I remember hearing you ask this, is it to the 5% to the base stats or to the stats that will be shown after all everything? See, that's what we don't know. Like, we, that's, uh, I was thinking that it was your base stats, but honestly, I don't know. Like, we haven't tried it yet to see, to, like, drink a buff soda and then drink one of the Omega sodas and see if it, like, is based off your buffed health or, or your buffed stats, whatever stat you're inflating, or if it's just off your base. Okay. So we have to try that. Which no one but wants I didn't to waste, waste their... one. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. No one wants to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to waste it. <laughs> what I want is a really, really small chance to get the plan to make compound omegas and promethium lock boxes. That would be OP. Or a small <laughs> chance it just kills you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it would just be hard to craft. Like everything else isn't hard to craft. But then I just buy them. Like, they're being, I don't know. Pretty sure this week I'm going to stock up on those Omegas, so. And it does say that the compounds will remain tradable. Yeah, buy them off the broker. Wait, don't buy them off the broker. Come on. <laughs> For like 20k. Thanks. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't put them at a price that Brittany is the only person that can buy them at because she has all the cash in the game. I will buy them at one mil. Those people are crazy. <laughs> no way I'm buying those at one mil. Are you expecting Wait. reasonable prices on the broker? Uh, yeah, because I bought them for a reasonable price. I bought like seven or something like that when they first dropped for a very, you very bought, cheap. You bought, them, you bought them at a cheap price because everybody didn't know because there were so many people out so? there. Cause they, don't, they don't say 5% because they don't say 5% on there. People thought it was just, oh, what, it only increases it by five? This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sell it. Hey. That's not my problem, and I already reported that, so... I had a little bit of a conversation with Balkan on uh, Twitter about that. Well, why don't they just try it and then look at their stats? I mean, some other guy, they were they were, they were going on, and it was like, what, this is only 5? This sucks. I was like, it says it's 5%. If you read the update notes on the forums, you would see that. What's a forum? You know, you know and you know, both of them were like, I ain't got time to go to the forums. I was like, well, then maybe you should... Uh, not be, uh, you know, talking out your butts <laughs> when you, you know, you know, have informed opinions about things. Then, <laughs> but that's the thing. Like they could just drink it and then look at their stats and see that obviously it didn't go up by five. It went by, up by quite a bit. And then they wouldn't be so upset. But well, well, can't couldn't Maps answer that question? He left. Oh, he did leave. Oh, <laughs> he he must, he heard the question and, and he probably <laughs> gotta go. He probably got poked. It's like don't answer that. Just leave. Just leave right now. <laughs> uh, I made my, I made my crack about layers and uh, layer items and everything, and he just he's bailed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so those are your Prometheum lock boxes, and that's all the stuff that happened last week, or at least stuff that we're gonna talk about. So let's go into what happened. This week, actually, it probably happened last week too. I don't know. All right, so the Tides of War, the summer event is still going on, but it's only going to be here for another couple of days. It will end on July 28th. So, if you damn, who already got rid of Varn that fast? He just got here. <laughs> Ow! <Okay. laughs> I heard Brittany giggle. That was her. <laughs> Like, all I saw was high, and I think he said something else, and then third one, he's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> I give power to people who really shouldn't have power. Oh, come on. He's like, no, well, I banned somebody else, too, but I immediately unban them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so, like I said, the Tides of War ends on July 28th, so go out there and get your sun dollars or your sand dollars. And, <laughs> and just have fun. <laughs> so, so get those styles, folks. Uh, happening this weekend. Uh, I think actually is happening right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, today. So Legends PVE weekend. 
Legends PvE weekend is, uh, they're bringing back Area 51 is back this weekend, and it will, <laughs> yeah, she is, <laughs> she is <laughs> going all over the place. <laughs> uh, so the event will start now, and it will end on the morning server restarts of July 27th. So you have this weekend to go back and do Area 51 to get those feats this weekend. Uh, and honestly, there was, of course, a thread on the forums that talked about... <laughs> Wish! Is she, is she, are you abusing No, you? Lee deserves it. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> we are man throughout the whole entire show. <laughs> Well, oh, wait, no, somebody said something. I'm oh, sorry. Jareth. Sorry, Amber. I'm sorry. It was an accident. <laughs> you typed. I'm sorry. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Well, she attacked me. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment. Bring oh, man. Seriously, for the people who listen to this podcast, like, on your way to work, you've got to try and make it out on a Friday night just to see the massacre that Brittany goes through in chat right now. <laughs> Alright, so, Area 51 is back. Uh, like, I, like I was saying, the all the forums, someone was actually complaining that, uh, they, that this is actually becoming a thing. Where they're okay, Camel actually probably deserved it. So, <laughs> wow, I totally didn't even do that. <laughs> I bet it was Grid. I bet Grid did it. My whole chat is gonna be nothing but everybody timed <laughs> out. <laughs> I didn't do that. Uh, so people, someone was actually a little upset that Area 51 was coming back uh, for the weekend, and that they're, we're going to be l losing. Uh, this whole refresher thing, it's like we're gonna get tired out about it. It's we're gonna be losing stuff. It's like we're not gonna be really losing anything. Ace Chemicals is out right now, they last for about five weeks, and during those five weeks, we're starting to get a refresher, uh, bring it back area 51. So then, when uh, Hall of Doom Armory is on test right now, and it's the next piece of Legends PvE to be tested. That's going to be coming out after Ace. It's coming after Ace, right? That was... Was there Ace? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. okay. I don't think there was anything after Ace. Yeah, because I know they overlapped a bunch of uh, LPGs. Yeah, because they, they, they started to pump them out, like, real fast. Yeah, so uh, so after, uh, after Ace, we'll have Hall of Doom Armory, and then during Hall of Doom Armory, we're going to have another refresher. So, will that mean that uh, South Gotham might come back, probably. But honestly, for the people who try to get those general feats done, at least maybe once a day on the weekend, it works out fun. So, uh, for me, I like the refreshers because it gives me a chance to go back and do these things because I missed it. So next, uh, hap came out today. Coming soon. Announcing titles. It will be coming in Game Update 51. So these titles are going to... I, I'm just going to read it. It will just be easier for me to read. So, with fame comes infamy. With great deeds comes great renown. In a word, titles. Very cute maps. Uh, players in DCO will soon be able to customize their character further with titles. Unlock by completing feats throughout the game. These tiles will be displayed beneath character names in game for all to see, and players will be able to choose which tile they see in the style menu. Now, these titles will be a prefix and also a suffix, meaning that one will be before the name and some will might be under the name. So, above and under, depends on which one you get. So, as examples, we see Death Card, the Exterminator. Ampage 01 of Gotham and in Dark Horizon Criminal Mastermind. So, uh, we don't, uh, so at when we delve into Game of Date 51 on the test server later, we'll, I'll, I'll try and cycle through feats and see what titles they have out. Uh, as a suggestion, what title would you like, would you guys like to see Super Patriot? Title, oh, I want to, I want to back, back from the hack title. I would like that myself. <laughs> 
just to rub it in more people's faces who really want that Batman helm on top of the Batman helm, we got a yep. title. <laughs> yep. One of my one of my things I like to do is wear the uh, back from the hack hoodie with the Batman inspired helmet in the middle of the central hub of the watchtower. And, e face and have just that title there. as well. That would be boss. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, Vagrant, what title would you like to see? Eh. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> eh. eh, because because I have all of the things you just talked about just on a stupid hero tune that I don't play anymore. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Probably like something that 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 relates to my name, like Wanderer or something like that. <laughs> Vagrant the Wanderer. Some- Something, something that's basic. Okay, uh, Brittany, what about yourself? Supreme Overlord, and only for me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that there should be not a feat that gives points, but just a feat that shows, like, if you reach a certain amount of skill points, like 200, 250, 300, whatever the increments, that you'll... That's where your supreme overlord comes from. Max yeah, it. but it only can be for me, though. That's the thing. Well, uh, you already have GM powers. I mean, what else more do you want? Uh, my own title? Okay, I walked into that. Very true. <laughs> 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 I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I One think day it will happen. I would like something that says, like, maybe the failure... Or the rage crashed. Something <laughs> something for for me as well. Just like, hey, it's Trexlite, the rage crasher. <laughs> Don't invite him to your like, group. Like one, <laughs> that's one, legit one for each <laughs> power would be cool. Just, just, put, just put rip underneath your name. I mean, that's, <laughs> oh, that's, 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 Trek, that's Yeah, that's right. Trex the rip. Oh, dude, he means he works out? No. Rest in peace, bro. I'm gonna no, die. I'm a minutes. Hold on. <laughs> Just wait. But uh, oh, sure. wiper. Uh, that, that's your name. <laughs> <laughs> the wiper. The no, wiper. Uh, no, I don't like that one. I don't like that. That's <laughs> that's, that's a that's a whole double entendre thing. I definitely don't yeah. want associated. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys want to. What if you? I, I give this to the. I give this to the viewers. Go to the forums. Create a thread. Someone create a thread, and everyone please reply to it instead of making your own. Because oh my god, that's annoying. Make a thread that and, and look at your feet list. Look at your feats. Find a feat that you that is your favorite and give it a title. Give it a title that you would like to see, and it and, and for it would be for pure suggestion, and maybe the devs might look into it. But the forms are there so the devs can look like, oh, they like this. Let's look into the scene and do this. Give suggestions. Find your favorite feat, screenshot it if you can, and give a title for it. Just give a title for it. I, I would like to see how many creative titles that people can do. Uh, the camel toe is kind of gross. No. <laughs> you know what? Time him out. <laughs> I don't know you, Lee, but... I think it'll be fun for, for Brittany to do that. Alright. He's not very nice. Uh, so, okay, so I going through the feats, going through going I'm sorry, going through that that thread, I I found this. I'm like page five is the top post. As soon as I hit page five, this popped up. Because someone typed in, Don't you want D Studio to become <laughs> as beautiful as WoW and other MMOs? And then this picture. I'm like, I remember that. That was my screen. Ew, are you serious? Okay, not as jumbled, but at the same time, I, I ran with like 720. It's a big monitor. I don't even know what kind of screen you would have that kind of jumbled mess to it. But, I mean, but basically. Too much stuff. Yeah, basically, yeah. My, mine would look like that, but a little cleaner. But, yeah, that's that's basically it. You got your, your res, like, ability is not ready because you're spamming it. And then you got the killing machine. No, your frost presence is right. It's a death knight, by the way. He's playing a death knight because I see the frost strikes. I miss my death knight, but man, it's just I look at this and I'm like, I I miss Raiden like that, a little bit, but not all the time. He he can definitely clean some shit up. He's using too many different HUDs. He he he's just it's just crazy. 
What the hell? <laughs> who, who would do that? I don't know. Who there, wants all awful. that crap now, on their screen? Now, hold, there's a lot of information here, okay? I mean, you have oh, your... Oh, a bunch of crap. Hold on. I, w I will break this down because I know what this is. So here, you have your UI. You have your... There's your health. There's your... Uh, his death runes. Not his runes, but uh, his runic power. There's his buffs that he, pl that he has on his character. Then you have your party and then their buffs. And down here in these small boxes are the raid. This is the other raid members that is not in your party. This is all their stuff. Then you got your See, chat. I don't, need to know, I don't need to know what's going on with people that aren't in my group. Well, as a tank, if someone's getting hit, you want to know who it is so you can... Are like, in my group? Someone. Yeah. Well, no, it's for... As you group. see in World of Warcraft, there there's raids that are like 32 mans and shit. Yeah. 40 so you need... You're, and you're in the gr <laughs> max party size is what, 16? So technically you go in with two parties of 16. So they're technically on your team. They're within your party. You just can't. And that should be the other team's tank's problem, not mine. Well, they only run with one. But the, you would you would argue if you want to pass the raid, then you want to help each other out. Yeah. Yeah. Not each group has a tank. Now each group will have a healer. You know, we make sure everyone has a healer. But tank wise, most of the time people just go in with one tank. Sometimes two, just depending on the boss. But it's it's mostly one. Uh, then over here you have all the auras that are going on within on yourself. Uh, another way to see what your what buffs you got or what you're missing. Here you have your cooldowns, and then all these nice little numbers here is your scrolling combat text that he has like all the way maxed. Then you have I think this is the Omen threat meter, which I would love a threat meter. Oh, that's the one thing I miss from WoW is a threat meter to see who's on top, who has the most threat. And you need to beat them. You need to like, hey, stop what you're doing. You need to lower your threat, sir. Uh, and then you have your damage meters your, for DPS-wise. It shows right there. Uh, and then you have your action bars. And then the boss's health is right here with their stuff. What dots and buffs that they got, which is these are all nothing but dots on the boss. And then you got your bags. Okay, so the question is, where is the boss? Uh, he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I was like... I mean, the million-dollar question is, how do you even see the boss? <laughs> um, well, if anything, I see the film, uh, a fail warden right here. I see her. Um, I how think... do you see anything? Oh, Lord, this is Lord Jaraxxus. I know. Oh, he's right here. He's up at top. He. It, this is also his leg, his red leg right there. Uh, I think this is part of his uh, weapon. But there's his gauntlets right here. So... <laughs> it's a bad screenshot, okay? It's just a bad screenshot. <laughs> no, he just has too much stuff on his screen for his UI. He's he's having Yes. He's having add ons that overlap each other. Yeah, that So yeah, he's just stupid. he's just being a retard. He is. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. But okay, so let's jump over to <laughs> What? What'd you do? I didn't do nothing. Why did you do it? Why I didn't did do that? I didn't do that. Uh, who timed out Jexio? I didn't do anything. I didn't it wasn't do anything. me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so, so on PC test, we have episode 15, The Bombshell Paradox and Corrupted Zimmeron, which I, I have to throw this question out because it was originally episode 15, Bombshell Paradox, in episode 16, Corrupted Zamoron. Do we like both of those being one episode, or do we want them rather each one an episode? One episode. One episode. One episode's fine. Okay. It makes way more sense. Okay. I, I didn't realize it was two separate episodes until he, like, said something about it, and or, you know, they... Maps posted or whatever. And I was like, "What?" It makes way more sense to make it one episode. It, it was confusing it was when we always use the term "monthly episode" before yeah. this was going on, and every time we were talking about it, it's like we like episode fifteen slash sixteen. Bombshell paradox corrupt exam. We're like, wait, it's monthly. It's a monthly episode, not monthly episodes. Yeah. So, bombshell and Xamarin on one 
episode, only the need to one episode number, I'm okay with as well. So, uh, we have the new eight-player operation, Bombshell Paradox. Uh, for this, let's move this over a bit. Uh, it travels through the rift of time and space to the DC Bombshells universe in the Bombshell Paradox. The Lady Al Ghul has created a tear in reality in an attempt to change the outcome of World War II. Players must stop her and set the Bombshells universe back to its corrected path. So, Brittany, you've been in the Bombshell Paradox uh, raid. How do you feel about it? Let's let let me ask this. Let me ask uh, this because the kay. this week they they increased the difficulty. Yeah. So let's go with the first weekend you did it. How was it? It was a joke. It was a <laughs> joke. I mean the okay the raid is beautiful. Going into the different area, I mean Harley, Catwoman, Wonder Woman, seeing all the different. Uh, bombshells it was really cool the setting is awesome uh the boss is seeing lady al ghul she looks amazing uh however the combat uh it was way too easy i mean literally we were walking in there as 124 126 i think i was 128 because i got lucky in the duo or 127 something like that but even with the group at the i guess suggested level or uh cr we steamrolled the whole thing. Like, it <laughs> it was just kind of a joke. I mean, it was really easy. Like, really, really, really easy. So, that was really disappointing, just because, I mean, I understand that the raid is going to be similar to how, like, NGN is, you know? It's supposed it's, to be that entry-level raid. Yeah, it's the entry-level raid, you know, it's not supposed to be super difficult, but at the same time, I didn't think it would be that easy. So, yeah, that was just really disappointing. Okay. When I when new content comes out for me, I don't like to test it because I like to be surprised and have fun with it when it first comes out and hits live. But my whole league pretty much said what you said, Brittany. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was weekend one when we had the minimum CR for it was 124. Uh, they recently did a hot fix on the test server that lowered this CR for episode 15 to 113 to allow players who did not purchase Halls of Power Part 2, which really you're missing out. So you have to have CR 113, which comes from Amazon Fury Part 2. So you have to have that episode. You have to... It's basically full tier gear from Karen. It's 113. So they lowered the CR to episode 15 for 113 and... Apparently now they increase the the CR of uh, episode fourteen, but we'll talk about that later. So with the and they also increase the difficulty for episode fifteen. So how's the episode the the difficulty that you ran last night for the raids? Um, to me it's still a little too easy. I there's really not a lot of uh, I would say mechanics to it. Uh, how I think we've gotten a little used to the last few episodes that have been out. Um, granted, is you can still run... Is everything tank and spank? Pretty much. I mean, here's the thing. For a well-coordinated group or a group that you know knows what they're doing, this isn't going to be difficult at all. Like, it literally won't be. However, for a group of pugs that maybe don't know what they're doing with their powers or you know the role that they're playing and can't move and don't pay attention to anything, then yes, this will be very difficult for them. Uh, I think for... So for, so for like, new. <laughs> I have a story. Yeah. I have a story. <laughs> I, I, I have a story right, when Brittany's done. Here's the thing. If here's the thing. Seven, would hope that they know how to play the game. No, 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 no. Because we <laughs> ran into four or five players on test that literally did not know what they were doing. We had a troll, two trollers that did not know how to throw POT, give power back, uh, I felt bad for our tank because she was constantly out of power and uh, she, literally her and the healer were the only ones that needed power and this troller could not keep them powered even with just a POT. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> those are the people that are on test too. So literally what's going to make this raid hard are the people, not the actual instance. That's what's going to make this raid hard for them is the group that they're with. So... 
I still like the raid. It's just, it's kind of hard to swallow just because I know that this is going to be the newest raid for the next month. And knowing that it's this easy, I, well, I just wish... Well, it the next two months, too. You don't know if a raid's oh, going to well, be... Oh, I mean, yeah, right. I, I just mean until new content comes out. But yeah, true. I wish that the elite raid, the normal and the elite raid was out first. And it was, you know, I guess, kind of like how Throne was, where... It, Throne was a little different because it was broken at first, so you couldn't actually do the last boss, but you I don't know if anybody would have been able to finish the last boss with the gear that we had at the time until you geared up for it. But that lasted for several months, and that's what I was hoping that, you know, we could get something like that that would last us for several months, you know. But Or like, you know, a paradox wave or something. <laughs> yeah, that lasted us for almost a year, you know. <laughs> I don't know, but like I said, I think the people are gonna is what's gonna make this raid hard for groups, not necessarily the actual raid. So, so I've got I got to play, or at least I got a group together to look at uh, the operation on Monday, and this was before the difficulty pass, so it was still technically easy. Uh, mm -hmm. I I ran the duo before and after the difficulty, but the difficult the difficulty thing well, I'll talk about later. Uh, but for the bombshell paradox. It was a random guy. It's like, hey, let's... Uh, it was actually Mr. Earth guy that was in your raid last night. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he, he was putting up a group together. And uh, I was with Cypher. And I was a tank. Cypher was on his heel. And, I'm, and we were like, yeah, let's do this. We run in into this thing with one tank, one healer, one controller, five DPS. Mm -hmm. So already my mind was like, I'm not going to enjoy this at all. At all. Too much pressure. No, I just don't like that makeup. It's it puts it's too much pressure. I am a I'm a rage tank. As long as I have power, I am okay. But until that, you crash, until I crash because I have no power, and and also I get knocked out because bad timing. But we run in and so we had uh, a fellow named Gadgets DPS, which I can only guess he was a Gadgets DPS. I wasn't paying attention. Probably so, ice. <laughs> So no, we, get gets juked gadgets controller. <laughs> <laughs> so we run this thing, we clear the trash to the first boss, and I I can't remember what was going uh we were going to the first boss and we had two controllers. Because Ramo Hayes was nice enough to jump on and help us out as a controller, and he's never played controller. He he openly said it. He openly said it like he's never played. So we get ready to go in and the guy was like Hey, let's go ahead and have one of the controllers be DPS. And there's miscommunication, so both controllers are DPS, and we start the fight. And I look over at my group, I'm like, huh, there's no controller. There's a miscommunication somewhere. Whoops. So, of course, we, we wipe it. But Gadgets was just like, oh, F this, and left. Okay? He left. The first wipe, he left. I look at the scoreboard. He had like three million some odd damage. I'm like, okay, that's well, we missed. We someone left. Whoopee. We get replacement. We continue on, get wipe after wipe after wipe on the first boss, and of course it's frustrating. No one wants to wipe, but at the same time, guys, it's test server. If you leave, you're a dick. If you drop a group on test, you're a dick. That's my personal opinion. Most people are going to disagree. I will respect that disagreement, but for the love of God, you're there to test. You're there to test difficulty. Shit's gonna happen. Not everyone's going to be the best player, as Brittany easily pointed out, with people who cannot give P.O.T. <laughs> easily. That yeah, is a problem. So, we wipe. And so I was like... And, and we finally called it, because everybody's like, you know what, screw it. We're just done. No one we can't wipe this thing. We can't... Whatever. I look at the scoreboard again. No one... No one was even close to the 3 million damage this DPS did going to the first boss. No, the heck? no one topped his damage. All right? And there's five DPS. Hashtag gadgets broken. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Either. Nerf like, gadgets. Like, holy crap. I I'm was. Telling you, it was ice. <laughs> I, could, I could not believe. What I saw, just the fact that no one, we were there, we wiped, we tried them like five times, and no, and we had some good runs, and one of them was my fault. I did rage crash, and I just, there was no picking that back up, but, do it! 
Yeah, I mean, one time was my fault. I did because I got... I had uh, my gall in the... I didn't actually have gall in eruption on my loadout because I was trying uh, a different loadout for myself to test something. Uh, but, oh, God, it was just so bad. The burn was bad. The burn was terrible. No one was able to beat the guy who left after the first wipe. I was really... I, I was dumbfounded. Okay, so wait. This brings up another story of the run that we had originally <laughs> with the guy who did 2 million damage versus our top DPS who did 14 million damage. What? And he, he says that we literally only needed him to queue. He provided no help to the raid, like nothing. I mean, he, we did not need him in that raid, but he says that he was providing help through constant damage and CC and CC as a DPS. He was using jackhammer and shield and do, I don't know what he was doing, but he wasn't really doing anything, and he thought that he was helping the group out when he really wasn't. I mean, it's great if people want to, you know, they don't want to use a traditional or cookie-cutter loadout. I get that, but uh, nobody was asking, saying that he needed to be top DPS, but not even doing uh, half of what the DPSs were, like the other four DPSs were doing, is, um, yeah... That there's no point for you to be in the raid. Like between me CCing, our troller CCing, and our healer CCing, he wasn't doing like he wasn't adding or helping with the group at all. <laughs> he it, wasn't, and it, it's, it's just in my it's just in my mind uh, after playing a controller and playing a controller who beat other DPS with damage. I feel that. If you're DPS, like, I suck at DPS. It's like, okay, I, I, I get I suck. I know I suck. I always tell my raid members, like, I'm not a good DPS, but I'm at least going to give them my 100% try. I will certainly try. And, but as lo I, I feel in my eyes, as long as I beat the controller in damage, because the controller can basically practically wear DPS gear and still do what he needs to do, but as long as I beat the controller in damage... I'm okay. I might be number three out of five. I may be number five out of five. But for the love of God, as long as I beat that controller, I feel I won. I feel I did fine. But at the same time, two million outside of fourteen million, there is a difference. There's something you need to fix. That's, I mean, it's obviously somebody's going to be first and somebody's going to be last. You yeah. know, it's it's going to happen. But had he put out like eight million damage, nobody would have said it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> not a big you know who cares you you obviously did something but then on the forums for people to say oh you're a good dps you're not a good dps you <laughs> obviously need some help you know or maybe dpsing just isn't the role for you if you wanted to cc and you know wanted to provide that help through ccing for the group maybe a controller role would have been better for him or a tank role where he can actually you know be with all the ads and help cc them I don't know, but it's just that kind of mindset that people think that somehow we're the bullies, but he really wasn't a good DPS. And you can't tell him that he's a good DPS because he wasn't. <laughs> like, how are you good? People were telling him, oh, you did a great job. And but S Sometimes you just got to be nice to be nice. Didn't. But, uh, but, you know. but I definitely get that. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure as a bad DPS that I am, if I would have seen that, I would have told him, like, look, dude, you did give it your all try, but... There is something fundamentally with either your loadout or your play style because two million is not gonna cut it. And, it's not. And, and luckily, you're in a safe. This is a safe group. You're in a safe. This is a safe area. All right. You're in a safe zone. And, and and let me give you some advice. That's basically what needs to happen. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, also, with episode fifteen, we got the new duo, Corrupted Zamoron, which is by far, I think, my favorite duo. Just for the fact of one thing, and it's because Hot Girl act is the final boss for this. But when you walk into the room for the final in the uh, for the boss fight, the uh, Indigo One, which is awesome by the way, uh, she gives a voiceover talking about how the heart of Hawkman and Hot Girl is in the battery. And it, as soon as I heard that, I'm like, wait a minute, Hot Girl is a debt is a is a Black Lantern. We're on Zamoron for love. I'm like. <gasps> My whole mind just blew up because back, I think this is like where even Super Patriot, I mean, you remember the story of Hot Girl and Hawkman, right? Where they cannot fall in love because they die. Like that, that's no. like, 
that that is classic DC Hawkman Hawk Girl storyline because Hawk Girl and Hawkman, I mean, of course, they came from the same planet, blah blah blah, but they're reincarnations of each other because, like, every time they get close and fall in love, they die. It's not like it's like, oh my god, I love you, I love you too, and now bust it some. No, it's just when they're in love, something happens during that time that they just die, and it's a sad, sad, sad story. And that's why, especially like the Justice League cartoon, that's why Hawk Girl was like with uh, with him, with John Stewart. And it's like okay, they can she can love. That's okay. She won't die because she's not with Hawkman. But that's like classic comic book DC stuff. And when I heard that, like all the feels came on to me. I'm like, this is amazing. And I had no choice but to praise SJ for that. That's uh, that was really awesome that she dug that in there. Uh, so, but with Corrupted Zamoran. Uh, when it first came out for the first weekend, uh, I ran it at level, and it, and it really was, uh, it really was easy, super easy, like dead easy. Uh, we we saw the mechanics for the bosses, but we could easily just like they they would hit us, they would hit me as a DPS, and I was like whatever, and I kept going. Uh, Cipher was a DPS, and then he switched to heals just to just to try it out, uh, but it was easy. So then came the difficulty change uh, yesterday. I think yeah, yeah, it was yesterday, and they also changed the minimum combat rating to 113 for Amazon Fury Part Two. So myself and Lady Lightning, we were uh, she was nice enough to help me out at two in the excuse me at two in the morning. By the way, at two in the morning because she lives in Germany. I give her kudos because we lasted in there for like 118 minutes because we kept switching out. So we went in there as 113 DPSs. Rage DPS and Electric DPS. Uh, the first ad that we that we got killed us. Like it, like two hits each, and we were done. So we went back and got home turf mods, and we got the sidekicks. And with the sidekicks, thankfully they were enough nice enough to tank for us. And it was still just, it was a murder fest. It wasn't. It wasn't until she went healer roll that we got a little bit further, but then by the time we got to the uh, the first boss, I already switched out to to tank. We tried it DPS healer on the first boss for a first for a couple of times, and it just it was just getting nasty. He has a corrupted uh, vortex thing. These three orbs. It's supposed to be spread out, but these suckers were like stacked on to, on top of me and rolling out the way was just not going to work. So easily died at level through all the switching that we did from the healer role to myself going to tank role and the fact that it was a tank and healer trying to go through this at level oh my god it was exhausting to say the least but it was doable we did do it uh we just didn't have the burn uh so, but I will have to try it out this weekend as a 124, 126 gear with uh, Halls of, with Halls of Power Part 2 gear. But that 113, you guys are going to, it's going to be a rough fucking ride for y'all, to say the least. If it comes out like it is. But that's what they wanted, isn't it? They wanted to be able to not have to have Pulse Power 2 DLC, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys, understandable. You guys didn't have Pulse Power Part 2 because it might have been, you might not be able to get it or you just might just want to skip it. Okay, so you have your 113 CR, Amazon Fury Part 2, cool. Go into episode 15. Do not expect a walkthrough because these are C these ads are CR 131 and you're 113. <laughs> Now, is it is it true that the duo is meant to drop better gear than the bombshells paradox? No, right. No, no, that was fixed. No. The okay, there is uh, the gear that drops in the duo. So, the duo and the raid drop greens. All right, the greens are one twelve. All right, they're going to be one twelve. It's still an upgrade for anyone in Halls of Power Part Two. It's definitely an upgrade for everyone coming from Halls. Of from Amazon Fury Part 2, all right, it is a big upgrade for you guys. So going in there, spending like an hour in a duo to get those 112s, yeah, it'll be worth it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but but the greens are 112. In the duo, the rares are going to be 116, 
And then in the raids, the rares were 120. The 118 is the vendor gear, which is now on test server, which I think, Brittany, you've got to take a look at. Yeah. Are they themed? Yeah. I know the same for both hero, or I guess hero and villain, because the uh, vendor gear was the same on the villain side as well. Is it the same style? Is it that green thing for the lantern inspired? No, that's the raid gear. It's the indigo inspired like the indigo what's her i don't know who she is in the beginning of the indigo yeah it's like her it's like inspired by her her outfit okay yeah so uh the normal 112 cr gear or item level gear is going to be in in all that content the duo will give 116 which is a rare drop but you get 116 and the ray will do 120 and then the vendor will have 118s okay so that's how the se- that's how the uh, the gear progression is going to be in episode fifteen. Which at the same time, this episode only gives you what was it? Chest, waist, belt, and back. It gives you four, right? I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the. Uh... Yeah, I think <laughs> that's it. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really say, but yeah, those are it. Uh, it's I, I. I do believe it's waist, chest, back, uh, and legs. I think I don't know. You get four, and those four will uh will drop as one sixteens in duos, and the one twenties in the raids. The green one twelves. It's weapon and all the styles. It's weapon and all the different pieces of gear. So it, it, it's it's going to be confusing. Who keeps moving their microphone, Vagrant? I had to plug it in because it's dying. Oh. <laughs> so uh, the, this new concept for how the gear works with the monthly episodes, it's going to be a little weird. But uh, over time, it will we'll get into a into a nice groove for it. So uh, and then uh, Promethium lockbox update. Blah. And the bombshells. So the bombshell legends. Uh, so with the exhibit data, we have bombshell Supergirl, bombshell Wonder Woman, bombshell Harley Quinn, and bombshell Catwoman. So those are all uh, available on the marketplace, and also on the legends kiosk that you can purchase. So have fun with those. Already saving up my legends marks. Good man. Good man. All right. So, uh, Soups, Vagrant, what do you guys think of episode 15 that we just talked about? More content. Yeah, I mean, more content. I mean, shit. I mean, you can't argue with them adding new new content to the game. I mean, that's the whole point of an MMO is, you know, they're continuously adding content to it. Keep it going and everything. Keep people active and playing on the game. I'm looking forward to the bombshell stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing what the exactly the you know the storyline is behind it you know because like i said i haven't really i'm like vagrant i don't like like people posting videos up you know on how how to do, do the the operation and the duo and everything like that i don't watch those because you know I, I want to be like oh this is cool you know i want that first impression I, you know i step foot in there um that being said, though, I mean, it's like you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, how the, you know, they did the story for the bombshells. And I'm looking forward, especially to the uh, Corrupted Xamaron, you know, because, you know, Black Lanterns, you know, get to fight them, smack them around a bit. That's right. And so. Someone... Aura. 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 Oh my god, yes. I want aura. that Black Lantern aura. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, so, I know someone asked on the forums, I think it actually might have been in chat as well uh, during the live stream. Uh, but someone did ask, uh, or it might have been CRT or something. I can't remember. I remember someone asked, like, why do we see Mogo, uh, the names from, like, Mogo constructs in Corrupted Xamaron as, uh, like, Black Lanterns? And I don't want to give it away. You really have to play. As you're playing the duo, Indigo 1 is talking and doing some vo- voiceover, and it explains why you see Mogo constructs in there. So, and at the same time, not everyone in the Corrupted Xamaron is a Black Lantern. Some of them are corrupted. Some of them are Black Lanterns. 
and, and so to go you're one saying that I have to answer. turn my volume on? Or subtitles. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. <laughs> Do you remember when this game first launched and the sound was always messed up? Like, always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I stopped playing sound the sound. Sound would dip out. That. Yep. <laughs> the voice audio wouldn't play. Like, I just yep. turned my sound off after that and just didn't play with sound. <laughs> Dip out. Sometimes after you played for a while, it just cut off altogether. Definitely yep. no game sounds at all. Yep. Loved it. Uh, Good time. Yep. The price for the bombshells on Legends, I think, is going to be the same, just like all the other Legends. Uh, and then the Legends kiosk, I believe they're 150 on the Legends kiosk. 150 marks of Legend. 100. There's not a single Legends tune that is more than 100 marks of Legend. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't it, it yeah. No, uh, no, it's 100. It is 100. Uh, because I, I was trying to remember in my it head. That's what is 150. Well, maybe. I can't. I'm not really sure. I know when I was going to buy them, it was. Because you're right. It is 100. It is 100 marks of Legend. Because I got 250 marks of Legend from the Tessera vendor. And so I went and bought them each for two, uh, 100 and 100. And I'm like, I got this 50 left over. Why do I have... Why is it 250? This is such an odd number. It's such an odd cap for Marks of Legends when everything I is... I thought you were talking about live. And I was like, how do you have 250 Marks of Legends? <laughs> like, what? How was that possible? <laughs> I think I have maybe 150. I, I, I have Marks of Legends. I just don't spend them. <laughs> Legends okay. PvE. <laughs> You're right. No, I do Legends PvP. I do Legends mm. PvP. I haven't queued up for a PvP match minutes. in a while. Yeah, I always kind of psych myself out when I make a video. It's like, oh, here comes the PvP fail videos, and they're all wins. I'm like, god damn it, I'm making myself a liar. But I mean, I, P I Legends PvP. This is the only PvP I really do, because it's, it's somehow... Whatever, but yeah, I mean, on it's the only one. It's the only one that's fun right now. Yeah. Mm. All right. So, uh, we saw some updates to the test server as well. Uh, they they changed the rarity for the blue to green for the 112. Uh, the black energy tendrils base item to the loot tables that's been added. Ah, <gasps> so cool. <laughs> uh, they also increased. The <laughs> what the hell was that, Brittany? <laughs> That thing is the fr is so freaking cool. Like that is the coolest base item ever. I love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. What item? And you're wrong. Hear. Classic Batman is 150 marks. Ooh. Ouch. So that's where my 50 goes in. Gotcha. How, how many? How many freaking Batman skins do you need? Um. Too many. A lot. A lot. No. Uh. Okay. The, it, uh. What were the? It's the Black Energy Tendrils base item vagrant. That's what she's so excited about. Yeah, you get it as a reward from the briefing and the duo, but they, like Truck said, they added it as a drop now. Uh, and then they increased the, uh, some damage to the bosses for the Paradox. Uh, they added an extra assassin to the fight alongside Talia. That's cool. Uh, and then just basically some fixes, all that stuff. Uh, and the next update they did, which was actually a couple of days ago, uh, for episode 14 and non 8 player content, the chance of getting an extra mark of victory has been restored for players who are within relevancy. For players out of relevancy, you will now have a chance of an extra bit cluster. This came out with, like, no announcement, because at the same time, I think it came out by accident. But... It is an option for you guys on live because it came because I it came out on live first. So an exobit cluster, an exobit cluster is a cluster of exobits. It's going to have the red, yellow, and the blue. You'll have all three of them as a choice to choose from if the content has that new loot table. Which right now it's only Halls of Power Part Two and the Tier Four duos. And you get the exobit cluster if you are out of your relevancy. If you are within your relevancy, you still get the mark of victory to choose from. But if you're out of it, it gets replaced with an exobit cluster. So, for those farmers who don't want to go out there in the open world or in the PvP sure. phase, this is another. Ch this is a choice that you can run 
older, lower content to get an exhibit cluster. But there was a bug, and I think the bug might still be happening, that for everyone who's within relevancy right now, you're not getting your mark of victory. You're instead getting the exhibit cluster. It's been happening ever since this whole thing got launched, and so hopefully they should have it fixed soon. Soups, you're about to say something? No. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought I heard you moan. Hmm. Uh, the tier 4 duos, players outside their CR relevancy will now be rewarded prestige for final boss skills uh, the black energy tendrils have more area to select at their base so apparently it was being cut somewhere uh, oh wait I just realized that this these test notes are not color coordinated they're not color coded yep let's go Trex it's my job to point these out. And if I was brand manager, I would be making sure Meps gets this done. <laughs> uh, they did some fixes for the uh, episode 15, they updated the text uh, for the wartime spy notes investigation for Bombshell Paradox. Uh, they also fixed Brittany's loot lockout timer issue that shows up now in the on duty menu. Good job, Brittany. Wait, how was my issue? You were the person complaining about it. Well, I wanted loot. <laughs> you gotta get me loot. Well, I'm just saying congratulations. <laughs> you are welcome. Uh, so after defeating Taya, the bulletin will now say leave operation. Uh, and there's no longer a portal to the Watchtower Hall of Doom. So if you want to leave that instance, you have to hit leave operation. You'll still be in it if you just like warp to HQ, you'll still be in that operation. You have to hit the leave operation button. Uh, they also increase the chances of getting one uh, level I am level 116 gear from the bosses in the corrupted Zamoran. And they also they have a hard knocks feat for this. All right, they they oh, yeah? yeah, they have a hard knocks feat for the corrupted uh Zamoran duo. Awesome. Uh, and and this is where they also changed the combat rating. So the minimum is now 113, and the maximum is 152. Like, whew, wow. They probably plan to make tier 7 huge. Well, they... Because each tier usually lasts about a year. Well, and if the monthly content, yeah, well, go on. Well, well, they did this because of the there was a, because of the thread saying that hey, we didn't get, uh, we didn't get that um, Halls of Power Part Two, so we should be able to skip that DLC. Uh, so the the one thirteen to one fifty two is to help with that to alleviate that issue. Uh, so with this change, they're basically allowing it where. If you want to skip the episodes, skip episodes. But you have to have at least one episode to move on to the next three. So I have 15, 16, and 17. I can skip 15 and I can skip 16 and just buy 17. And I'll be able to go into the next. Uh, I can go into episode 18. Or I can buy 15, skip 16 and 17, and I can go into 18. That's where the combat rating change is going on. So you have to buy at least one monthly episode to move on to the next stuff. Uh, and that's basically it. Yeah. Um, so stuff that. Or, or you could just sub and get everything. Or sub and get everything. Yes. Do that. Uh, some stuff on the live server for the server hotfix from July 22nd. They did stuff to the lockbox. Uh, they updated so, you know, players can get shit. Uh, they upped it. Uh, for loot, this okay, this is where it is. Uh, the players uh, above relevancy in combat using the loot picker now have a chance to receive an exhibit cluster as loot in place of a bonus mark. Uh, and in Tier 4 duos, players of all class levels should now see loot from these duos. In the bounties, the Steelworks Oolong Siege Robot Fix an issue with the ground pound ability doing too much damage and reduce the radius to the lightning strike attack. That should help some people. I think. Probably. I don't know. Uh, and then 
yep, there's the episode 14 stuff and then the tier 4 stuff again that we just talked about. Uh, and then the server hotfix that happened today. Uh, the episode 14 descriptions have been updated to reflect a maximum relevancy for this content. Right now, episode 14 beforehand, it ended at... Where did episode 14 end? It stopped at CR 135. It's gotten increased to 149. And my chart will reflect that tomorrow when I work on it. Uh, the premium lockboxes are once again unlocked by members. Uh, they're only <laughs> unlockable by members and not uh, by premium and free-to-players. That was not supposed to happen. Thank you. We should bring up the, the, the post. We should. Do, do, do I, you I know can, about the post? I can, it's, it's locked, but I know it's still there. I'll find it. I will find it right now. So it's such a it's such a stupid and hilarious post. <laughs> Let me. I know it's locked, and it's probably already on page two or three. But there it is. So, Ascentma, whoever it is, who, why? So here's this post. I hope nobody opened their mouth about them lock boxes, and the devs just mm. figured it out by themselves. If I had known my premium self could have opened lockboxes, I would have done so. So many low-level stuff. Ooh, that makes me so flustered. Rant over. And of course, the thread was filled with nothing but, so you wanted to cheat. You're okay with cheating. And and I looked at it, and I remember that, you know what? I get, I get blamed for a lot of stuff. And so what do I put? I put a picture of Siler, and I just... I did it for the lulls. And I was like, best ever. All I did, I, all I Googled was, I did it meme. And that's the one I chose. I did it for the lulls. That was so funny. Such a, such a hilarious pose. <laughs> it is. Oh, God. It's just so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so, all right. Game update 51 on PC test. We're finally now up to date with everything now. Uh, so episode 51, we have titles introducing titles and, to the game. Oh. And you, you said you said 51 instead of 41. I I I am working on it. <laughs> I think I almost slipped earlier by correcting myself really fast before I completed the syllable of 40. It's like 4 50 51. I was like that fuh. So, uh, so the tiles are here. Uh, you complete them by specific feats in game, and I'll be logging in. I, I'll be logging into the test server in just a moment to look at them. Uh, and you can change the title of the display on your character in the style menu and click on tiles tab. New tabs, yay! Legends PVE Hall of Doom Armory, the newest installment. It's now on there. Uh, so heroes get to go into the Hall of Doom Armory. Isn't that neat? We'll also take a look at the feats as well because I'm really interested. So we all know what's next after that one. Most likely Watchtower. Watchtower Containment would definitely be an idea, and I would be okay with it. Uh, so PC test it, it would only make sense at that point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so PC test only. The supply, equipment supplier 151617 is now there for gear purchase. Uh, and that is how we say his name is 1517. I'm sorry, 151617. That is his name. Uh, what is this? The animation, the staff idle animation has been updated so that the staff will not interpenetrate the player's leg. Okay. Uh, audio with earth powers, don't care. Power updates! Yeah! So, power regeneration mechanics for rage has been updated. This now applies a regeneration effect rather than an instant power return. Uh, they increase the damage of rage combo versions of the following attacks. Eviscerating Chain, Outrage, Dreadful Blast, Frenzy, and Revenge. I am going all over that. Uh, they also did the regeneration mechanics change to Celestial, and they also reduced the power cost of Divine Light and Plague. For Quantum... What? what? Uh, quantum... Oh, wow. Holy sh... Yeah. So, regeneration mechanics on there as well is going to be a regeneration instead of an instant power return. The power generation effect is applied as the abilities are used rather than all at once when Time Bomb explodes. Yes. That is needed. 
Uh, the gravitonic field now benefits from Quantum's power regeneration mechanic. That's cool. And the munitions also has the power re uh, regeneration change. For, so it's regeneration and not instant. And then they had some stuff uh, with the styles. On the marketplace, the fishnet pants, a setting in the material ha was not allowing players to reach the abs an absolute black, but rather a dark blue. They changed the setting in the material that now allows players to reach an absolute black value. Uh, and then seasonal summer event, the Atlant the, Atlantini uh, the Atlantian ships, Atlantian, wow, have moved out of the harbor until next year. And in subtitles, they've been added and updated for all mentors exiting tutorial missions. Yay. Woof. Two weeks worth of stuff. Yeah. Power to it. <laughs> So, uh, as the fun thing goes, let's hop on to Test Server and look at some of this cool stuff. Can't wait. Can't wait. Um, I, I, I was going to ask you guys something, and then it just like completely blinked on me. What do you think it was? I don't know. Because it, it blinked on me. <laughs> uh... Yeah, how you guys, uh, fi uh fire, uh, you've been fire DPS, right, Soups? Yeah. Uh, how, it's been months now, um, how is the fire regeneration change going for you? I've, I haven't had any issues, to be honest with you. I mean, I've seen, you know, a couple people where, you know, people have asked me, or it's been brought up that you know fire is having some power regen issues. I haven't seen it personally. That is, but you know, then again, you know, it's not saying that uh, it's not it's, there. You know, it's not there. I think a lot of it may have to do with uh, people's timing on when they're getting uh, when they're getting the final execute of their powers up. Because people people need to realize that you know fire burst is mass dead. It does refresh. Your uh, volatility and your uh, um, thermal absorption, and everything like that, but they only refresh at the end of the cast. You know, that's when the when they're actually those powers are actually executed. So they, they only it only refreshes them at the end of the cast. So if you know you're off a little bit on your timing and everything with your rotation, uh, you may you know throw out you know you may still hear the whistle and sound from the blue flames and everything. Um, you know that up until almost the point where you know you uh, execute the uh, fire burst or mass debt, but if that expires before you execute those powers, then it's that hasn't refreshed. And then you know if you're sitting there and you're still you know you like you immediately hit fire burst or mass debt again right after that. Well, you're now you're just using you're using power that you know you're not getting any regeneration back from for so. Flame Cascade doesn't work like that. Um, that's one of the reasons why I have it in my loadout is, you know, if I get knocked down and Burning Dead is still on cooldown, you know, I just, you know, break out and hit a quick Flame Cascade and it automatically refreshes my uh, uh, volatility and thermal absorption. So, Cool. Uh, for those who haven't seen what the lockbox looks like, luckily I have a lockbox uh, in my bags. So, oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, wow, You're New Genesis bad. Shoulders. In your bags. Sorry, in my in in inventory. Sorry. Uh, in so my... I got the new Genesis shoulders, the gloves of the lethal zealot, which or zealot, which is still part of the lockbox, as long with uh, along with the auras, they're still there as well. Uh, a mail bot, a base item, and then my omega compound, which I go with the omega compound all the time because it's great. So let's look at the style. There's my titles. So, the titles I can select from is The Enchanting, The Furious, The Heroic, The Legendary, The Lovable, The Unstoppable, Champion of Earth, The Healer, and The Tank. The uh, Okay, so this is what I mean where things are a prefix, which is going to be above the name, and also there's going to be suffix, which is going to be below the name. So, the unstoppable Test Ember Rage, or Test Ember Rage, Champion of Earth. I'm going to go with the Furious. The Furious Test Ember Rage. 
We're gonna save, and because I can't really see my own name, it, but it's there. It is there, I promise. Uh, let's actually look at this feet list and see if we can find out where the hell these things came from. Uh, oh, here we go. There, look, okay, so... Holy shit, there it is. So, the feet will have a tag, a yellow tag on them to show that it has a title granted and it's going to be at the bottom. So completing the Gotham Boost Tour gives me the title of Gotham. And the same with Metropolis, of Metropolis. It's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, so tanks very much is the tank. Champion of Earth when I hit level 30. The Heroic when I hit level 20. Under Control when I use the breakout ability a thousand times gives me the unstoppable. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, man. Completing all the investigations in the classic game gives you Master Detective. That's mine. <laughs> and... Ooh. Nat, uh, win a platinum medal on any expert level race... Without putting a without purchasing a movement mode gives you the talented. That's pretty cool. Let's look at Legends PVE if it gives anything. Nope. Probably nothing really to give in that crap. Uh, what about bases? Nope. All right, look at general explanation. What about PVP? There you go. I found you, Vagrant. I found you, buddy. If you explore. All of the cities, all the alerts, Kondak and the Bat Cave Outer Caverns gives you the Wanderer. So your title's already in there. Congratulations. Vagrant the Wanderer. <laughs> it's like a double entendre there is. <laughs> double entendre. Alright, Slack's exploration for solos. Nothing for solos. Nothing for anything inside there either. Isn't that I can see? Uh, for R and D, oh, there's nothing for R and D. That sucks. There should be though. You guys do all that crap. You guys deserve a title. Nothing for completing the style sets. Which set? Oh, nope. I'm mistaken. Completing all the high voltage set gives you the electrifying, and completing all the checkmate operative gives you checkmate operative. And then, oh, completing the Furious set gives you the Furious. That's how I got that. So, great. I need to complete the Furious stuff. That's terrific. For PvP, nothing there. Nothing in dueling. Nothing in arenas. And achieve level 5 to begin Legendary Battles gives you the title of the Legendary. So, there's that. <laughs> Nothing for duos, or nothing for hide, uh, hideout. Nothing for alerts, nothing for hard alerts either. Raids. Nothing. Renown? Nothing. Oh! An excellent opportunity as well, because you get uh, titles for the seasonal events. The pot of uh, the St. Patrick's Day gives you the Outlandish. The Spring Event gives you the Eternal. The Halloween gives you the Fearsome. The Christmas Event gives you Jolly Old. And the Summer gives you of Atlantis. And the Valentine's gives you the Lovable. Aww. So basically, everybody will probably get the Lovable. If you don't, you suck. Or you just need to work harder. Now for episodes. Fight for the Light. Completing all the Fight for the Light content gives you of the light. Shit, I need that for my rage person. Yes! Oh, that'll be so badass. Uh, okay, so the Lightning Strikes, nothing. Bow for Earth. Completing all of the collections and briefings and investigations gives you the title Prime. Last Laugh. Missed opportunity. Nothing there. Hand of Fate. Really? Yeah. Uh, Hand of Fate. If you collect... Almost no one would have it, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, Soups has it. I'm, I'm sure. Yep. Uh, complete, All the uh, completing the styles for Runes of the Ancients gives you the title The Ancient. For Home Turf, defeat 100 enemies outside of Ace Chemicals gives you The Exterminator. Nice. Uh, for Origin Crisis, damn, come on, really? Completing an epic odyssey gives you the title The Epic. Yeah. And then the finite possibilities with completing the combinations of council members gives you the infinite. That's pretty. That's a nice one. Sons of Trigon. Completed the corrupted set gives you the cursed. And completed the exalted gives you the exalted. War of the Light Part 1. Yes! Completing all the styles of Vestments of Rage gives you the Vengeful. I am so down for that. Amazon Fury Part 1. Defeat 21 Cyclops in Gotham Under Siege gives you the Mythical. Halls of Power Part 1. Collect all nine artifacts of Ergen replica base items gives you the powerful. War of the Light Part 2. Oh, wow. Complete all of the War of the Light Part 2 missions in the open world gives you the commander. Or really gives you commander. That's what it says. Uh, Amazon Fury Part 2. Nothing. Halls of Power Part 2, which is what we are on right now, gives us nothing. That's such a sad face. And then Episode 15 has no tiles either. Are they going to give a name to Episode 15, or is it just going to say Episode 15? Just Episode 15. <laughs> there's, there's really nothing else to call it. I mean, bomb yeah, Bombshells, just, Paradox, It's, it's just going to look funny. <laughs> oh, it does. It really does. Like, oh, man. It looks really out of place. <laughs> all the names, and all of a sudden, episode 15. <laughs> I think they need to put, like, at the beginning of everything, like, EP1, colon, and then the name. They need to have, like, the episode title. Yeah, especially if they're going to stop giving names to them. Or, or just switch it all over to the episode number. Well, that would be kind of tough because even on their website and on Steam, it's all listed as like Fight for the Light, Lightning Strikes, not really given an episode number. Given it, the episode number would, would be the best way to go. I mean, all, all they got to do is change the text. I'm pretty sure there's something much more to it than that, too. On Did Steam, changing the text? Oh, Steam, sure. In-game, that would be a whole different mm. thing. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to go with the lovable, because that's who I am. I am lovable. No matter what people say. Y'all can go to hell. Dang. <laughs> no, right? Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, the titles are new. I'm sure that they're going to look at adding more titles down the line. Maybe to, like, old stuff as well. That would be pretty cool. But, uh, what do you guys think of the titles? Soups. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I lost track. Of what, um, from the question again. Uh, what do you think of the titles? <laughs> titles. Yeah. Um, you, yeah. I'm, I'm looking. Like I said, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing whatever uh, else coming with it. Uh, the uh, epic Odyssey um, one does sound uh, fun and interesting to do. <laughs> um. Uh, but uh, you know, I mean, it's, yeah. You know, custom titles would be nice too, and hopefully that's something that's you know maybe coming down the road. Uh, they are going to need to definitely put to um, restrictions on it, as the forums have already pointed out. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, which Radium really did win the forums today. <laughs> yeah, obviously there needs to be you know a profanity filter on there and. Everything like that, but, you know... Or they could have uh, it to where certain feats will unlock a word that you can use 
and then you can that have up to cool. four words. There you go. There you that go. would probably be the best way to do it because, I mean, if you had it custom, what's going to, besides a filter, what's going to stop me from putting the epic anyways? Yeah. True. But it's still new, coming down the line. Uh, so, yeah, we have all of Doom Armory there on the test team being ready to go. Corrupted Xamron all the way to 152. Whew, that's something else. I have to update my chart. So, <laughs> that is basically the show, which... I was thinking it was actually going to be a little bit longer, but we basically right there on the normal timeline to end. About that two-hour range. Yep. Which I hope people are okay with two hours because, well, so it was it was two weeks worth of information besides us bullshitting like we always do to make it long on purpose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, lastly, I just wanted to show you, uh, if you guys have been following me on Twitter, uh, I've been, there was a thread by Cersei, of all people, and where Cersei posts a lot, and sometimes he, she, uh, it, it's relevant stuff, it's relevant questions, and sometimes it's just, oh my god, why are you asking this? Stop asking this. But I will give him that Cersei's threads always have a very long discussion on it. And there yeah, because a, a, uh, a lot of those discussions consist of, why do you do this? Why do you bring up stupid shit like this all the time? Yeah. Well, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I will give Cersei credit for this, where she was talk, or he or she was talking about the t- tier four needs more alerts, and and I did reply. I replied to it saying that look, we really huh? did, we really need to look more into the future and not the past. Uh, the content that's in lower levels right now, it, it to me, I will say this to me is fine. It, it really is. I. I, I mean, I'm leveling up alts. I'm not seeing a, a blockage anywhere as a legendary as well. I'm not sure how free-to-play or premium players are working. But for me, I'm not seeing a break because I'm constantly always able to run something. But and, and so seeing that thread got me thinking. It's like, well, how much content are within these tiers? So because I get bored at work, I created this graph. Which uh, I like, at least. I'm, I'm not sure if everyone else does. Uh, but this is a graph to show each separate tier relevant to its, uh, to its combat rating. To the combat rating relevancy. Where we see tier 1 is right there at the 30 to 53. The novice 2 raids overlap into the tier 2. And I also broke it down to uh, the episodes... So we got Fire for the Light, you got Lightning Strikes. I did notice, I mean, we've talked about it before when the CR relevancy and they mismatch stuff on the On Duty tab. Because, I mean, you got Battle for Earth, they have duos, alright? You got duos in Tier 2. Tier 3, you have the Alert. And then in Tier 4, you have the Raids. So Battle for Earth is basically broken down into multiple tiers. And Fire for the Light is that way as well. Tier 2 has the alerts, and then the duos are in Tier 3. It's weird, but it, especially with Fight for the Light being Episode 1, and it's being a Tier 3, so it, it's weird, but it, it, it works. Uh, I have everything broken down all the way to Episode 15, which is, of course is in black, because, you know, Black Lanterns. Woo woo. So, uh, this is something I've been sharing on Twitter. Uh, it... And the purpose of it is to show, like what you, it, what your CR is, and what content you can run, and you can gauge how many marks you need as well. Because I'm also adding how many marks each section gives, and so you can do the math yourself. Or if I get creative, I can try and do the math. Uh, try and do the math. But with the math, there's variables, because you can do alerts and duos all day. The raids are a week, so. And then you also have the solo content, like home turf and like especially home turf, where you have the solo content. Then on that fifth day, you can run that challenge and get extra marks. There's different variables that is causing how to present it perfect uh, better. But it's a work in progress. 
Uh, I thought I was going to have it done today, but I decided to break down episode or tiers 1 through 5. Or, I'm sorry, tiers 1 through 4, so it caused it lasted a little bit longer than what I wanted. But uh but uh, what do you guys think about it? Do you guys like it? Did I, did I waste my time? <laughs> my, too much uh, earthy color, too much earth colors. Well, I <laughs> True. I mean, Excel doesn't really give me a plethora of colors either. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I tried it as, as soon as I hit uh, War of the Light Part Two. I'm like, it's not Red Lanterns didn't come out that time. But I'm like, you know what? Let me just let me just throw some color in this. You know, I, we're gonna put some red here. Halls of Power Part One has like that blue tint. Amazon Fury was brown. Amazon Fury Part Two is more brown. Halls of Power Part Two another shade of blue. So. At that point, I was like, let me just play with some stuff. So, I mean, for Fight for a Light, I did yellow instead of green. So, I, I, I tried. But I definitely... but do, As I was doing this, I definitely started seeing a lull. Because when you get here... I'm sorry. Uh, when you get to, basically, the CR-69, you're basically in a lull before you hit 70. Because you're looking at... Uh, basically, well, it's not really a lull, to say this, uh, so to speak. I mean, you got more stuff. I think really the I think tier four is fine for the most part. I think literally all it needs is queuable solo instances, and then it's done. Actually, well, and as I was doing this, uh, I did notice that tier four definitely needs at least another alert because it really only has two. It has, uh, what did it have? It has the... Uh, the Operation Inter and then the Alert. Yeah, Air, it uh, has Air Sanctum, which is the... And then you have uh, the Balfour Earth... Um, the uh, Wayward Souls Operation. So yep. adding another Alert would definitely help. But uh, but seriously, solo stuff, I mean, for, forgot... Home Turf. All right, done. I don't care. I don't care what you say. Home Turf, done. Flip table. <laughs> Like I said, if they made it to where those five-day instances were queuable, they would fix some of the problems because then you can at least have more marks per day. I Well, you still get marks per day. But you just get more. More marks per day is what yeah. I'm saying. I think at this point, now that we're at episode 15, I think uh, putting a restriction, and when I say restriction, it's not a bad thing, but hear me out. The, the every five days you get to go into the challenge. All right, I think we can get rid of that now and do it where you have to do that daily mission first to unlock that challenge for the day. Or just have it where you queue in, because then it's the same thing. Well, why queue in? That way, it's a, it. It it just looks sloppy when it jumps from tier three to five. Okay, I will give you that. Because then, because people are gonna look, it, it doesn't matter if you know the content or not. New players are gonna look and be like, w "Wait, wait a minute! This, you're telling me so there's no solo content in tier four? They're gonna look at that until they actually get to tier four and go like, "Oh, well, there's two quests I can do, two instances technically I can do every five days. If they made it to where the, those instances were queuable." Then it'll it'll fill that gap without technically having to create or rehash content. It fixes that yeah. to an extent, and then and then one maybe one more alert. I don't personally. I don't think an, an alert is genuinely super needed because you got four raids, you got two alerts, you got three, three, three duos alerts. now. I'm sorry, two two alerts and three duos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there. And, and then the two quests, and then, you know, the, the technically the two dungeons, if they made it to where they were queuable, you could do those every day. That's a lot, that's a plethora of content, in my, in my opinion. Not to mention the two bounties that you can do that give you a guaranteed piece of gear. Yeah. Be it that it's, it's random, the piece of gear you get, but it's still a piece of gear you can get every single day, because those aren't weekly bounties. Uh, Britt left us a while ago, Jareth. She had to go do a run. Which is understandable because she's all badass and shit. But uh, and, and another thing that I've noticed do, while doing this, I mean, there is a lot of overlapping 
and uh, it, it really didn't start getting like crazy weird until I want to say like Origin Crisis. Because everything else, as you see, was besides the novice tier three, like everything was kind of together in those tiers. And then here comes tier Origin Crisis, starting at CR eighty, and then having some stuff in CR eighty four, and then it started getting back into normalcy, and it just started. The eight man rage was like a few CR, like one CR extra or something. Because with War of Light Part One, you go in at CR eighty four. And then the raid for Assault and Battery wasn't until 85. Which is understandable because it's a raid. I mean, you got to work yourself up to get to the raid. You shouldn't just walk on in and just go straight to a raid. You got to build up to it. Uh, so it, it, I have to say it was a lot of fun doing this. And L Love and War was weird for the fact that War Light Part 2 started at 105. And then you could do the raid at 107. And then here comes Amazon Fury Part 2. And Amazon Fury Part 2, again, started the... It starts the 12 pieces of content cycle. And that's why I have it labeled differently instead of having it where it's solo duos. or it's, I can't do that now. You have to do it where they're together to have the 12 pieces of content. And so when you're at 126, scrolling through... After 126, basically, when you get 127, you, you can't do Lab and Nexus anymore. You are officially at uh, the Solo, Open World, and Halls of Hades, which is the which will happen when Zam and Bombshell come out. So include so with Hades, you got one, two, three. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. There's your twelve pieces. And then at one, I can only guess, uh, but at one thirty, we'll lose solo. We'll lose the solo and Hades, and that's when we will get our next two pieces. So yeah, that's cool. And I also have to adjust this now to include the new, uh, the new CR maximum for Halls of Power Part Two, which is now one forty nine. And not to mention, I, I like that they're making it so where if you do old content, you get exabytes. Yes. It, oh. So, people people wanted to one of the reason why they run it besides feats that they might have already had or styles that they might have already had. Well, Good. now now it's going to be feats, deconstructing gear, because that feat is ridiculous. Getting uh and getting exabytes or styles. That's too. So, uh, all one thing all, they need to bring back is the exceptional recovery kits. I don't know why they stopped that in Origin Crisis. I don't know either. Some, sometimes I, I scratch my head and I'm like, did you guys forget? Uh, Jareth, I did not get your question. I was expecting it, but uh, it didn't come through. I know you put sourcecast at gmail, but it's dcuo sourcecast at gmail.com. So, uh, there's that. But yeah, uh, so, so Jareth, uh, just send it and I'll try and get it, uh, next week. Uh, wait, who's trash? Am I trash? I'm trash? I didn't know this. I smelt like trash. I work at a horrible job and this dude smelt like epic shit, but it wasn't him. It was his load, uh, his like refrigerator had like crap in it, and it, it it was horrible, so horrible. So, uh, right, Nacho, uh, you get exabits when you run the lower level content, uh, and that's actually now. You can do that now. Well, I thought it was it has to be it has to have the new loot system still. Oh, that's right. Sorry. If it has the new loot system, um, if you are above combat relevancy you'll still get like a choice of like loot and you'll get exobit clusters and it'll be like cluster red blue yellow and um oh never mind that's all three colors they really need <laughs> they i was gonna say super speed exobit and then they really need to give 
relevancy to the super exo super speed exhibits again. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for right now, it's only in tier four duos, and it's in Halls of Power Part Two. Hopefully, yep. the, the loot, the loot, the new loot uh, picker system will be coming to other content uh, slowly but surely. It's gonna be awesome when it comes to the rest of the game. Jared, did you? Uh, uh, did you, you didn't do at dcosourcecast at gmail dot com? Did you? I hope that was just a typo because that's not gonna work. Uh, so, uh, new base locations to move into and different base layouts. I don't know what their roadmap is. Uh, I think seeing something next month with the roadmap would be nice. And I'll try and see if I can... I'll see if I can... I'll just mention it to Spittle and see if he could do something like that for next month, maybe, since we don't have an annual event. Uh, but I'm not sure what they're doing right now. Uh, with monthly content now coming out, they... I feel that they're a little bit more... More stress has been put onto them to try and get shit working and out uh, faster. Well, I think for the first three months, they, they, they're good. Because... Technically, waiting three months for the monthly content to start, they have content waiting to just come out. Because normally, next month, we would be getting a full DLC, which would include six to seven to eight pieces of content, and instead we're only getting two. So now, we for sure know that they're just gonna, they're gonna have content on the back burner that they can just push out. And then they can find, just keep doing that. That's why they had us wait the three to four months for the monthly content to start. Yeah. But, uh, all in all, great show, guys. Great show. Yeah. Excellent job. High fives. High fives. Mm. Uh, so, and as always, time for the shameless plug. <laughs> Sorry, I got this. Oh, I completely forgot when we were talking about the new Compound Omega, uh, mm -hmm. Locke came out and nicknamed it the Final Compound. And yeah, because it's gonna scale, right? Yeah. So they don't they don't need to have like no 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 tier four it, compound or whatever. No, the Final Compound, like the song, like the Final Countdown, is the Final Compound. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't, I don't think like that. So I never get stuff like that. <laughs> You've heard the song, though, right? Mm-hmm. I've heard the song. But I, I never, like, think that way. So you must be the guy who posts <laughs> on the forums and didn't get it. Because someone on the forums didn't get it, and we had to explain it to him. We even showed the song. He was like, but that song's not the same title. That's the final countdown, not the final compound. And that I dude just... was trolling. Oh, he dude, better have been. Seriously, I mean... He better have, because I would have just went like, what did your parents not teach you? Europe is amazing. Not the country, the band. Europe this has the same no guy, problems. This is the same guy you were arguing with on the forums and all that. It said that you know the Sinestro Corps Batman didn't count as a no, hero a wearing guy. a villain style. This is a different guy. It's probably the same guy just messing with you. That or there's a group of them out there doing it. Yeah, whole group. A whole group. But yeah, uh, every time I mention the final compound, I always have to sing it. It's the final compound. Da -da -da -da. It's a good song. That's not how it goes. Yes, it is. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Couldn't even get the reference. But anyways, uh, be sure to follow us on our Facebook page at DCUO SourceCast uh, on Facebook. And also on the Twitter at DCUO SourceCast. You can just really just type in SourceCast or DCUO SourceCast and you'll find us. We're the only ones. We better be. No fakers. Uh, you can find all of the video replays over at youtube.com slash trekslight in the SourceCast playlist. It also includes the episodes that were hosted on uh, Super Patriots channel as well. Uh, and find all of the audio uh, for direct download over at trekslight.com. And also find us on iTunes. Just, again, type in SourceCast or the DCO SourceCast and you'll find us. Uh, and if you guys have any questions or suggestions, please email us at dcuosourcecast at gmail.com. Uh, Jareth, I hope we are able to get your question for next week. 
Uh, so sorry if somehow that got messed up. Uh, Sir Patriot, where can we find you? You can, of course, find me at youtube.com slash today's house. I'm also on facebook.com slash today's house. I am on the Twitter at the daddy's house and occasionally streaming here on Twitch slash the daddy's house. Vagrant, where can we find you? You can find me at all of my confusing areas on Twitter, YouTube, tr- uh, Twitch, Facebook. Pretty sure that's all of them. Slash Trick Tracked. Uh, I've been streaming DCUO um, until last night where I had a power outage. And that sucked. But yeah. Anyways, Trex, where can we find you? You can find me over at facebook.com slash trekslite, over my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash trekslite. You can find me on the Twitter at this is Trex, and be sure you guys be following me on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash trekslite. Ah, these Sourcecast episodes get better and better. I have so much fun, especially when Brittany abuses her power and just destroys everything. Uh, no spaces, Jareth. No spaces. All one word. Oh, I even type it out. Yeah, you be following. <laughs> <laughs> you see a sourcecast at email.com. That's it. She did attack you, Jareth, and she is sorry. How sorry? I'm not really sure. But uh, So that is it for our show for tonight. Uh, be sure to join us next week. Uh, same at 8 p.m. Eastern over here at twitch.tv slash trekslite. And also stay tuned for next week. Next week over at twitch.tv slash DC Universe Online for the live stream of episode 15 with the developers. Can't wait for that. Even though I've already been playing it, but I'm sure SJ is going to just get on the stream with her frosted tip hair and just rock out on that duo. Because that duo was great. Oh, Hawkman Hot Girl. So much fun stuff. So stick around for the P for the ten dollar PSN card giveaway. Stay tuned for that. And also we're gonna be spoiling Ant Man because we all saw it and it was great. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. And see you guys next time. Stick around for the giveaway. Have a good night, guys. Nah. Yeah.